comments from uh, Coach Schertz, and then we will go to the uh, student athletes. So, Coach? No, um, well, just, uh, you know, I thought our guys did a good job. Uh, you know, we did a lot of good things to get up 23. I thought um, at that point we, we really, uh, you know, two things happened because uh, uh, you got to credit Ball State. Um, they showed a lot of character and, and resolve and toughness and um, really, you know, uh, it's easy when you're down 23 with 13 minutes to go to kind of let go of the rope. And, um, you know, it, it turns, and, and that's happened to us some this year. We've been able to really step on teams, and I thought um, they did a great job of staying the course, which, again, is credit to, to their staff, players, character, all those things. Um, and then I thought uh, on our end we did a, a very poor job of, you know, um, got away from who we are. You know, they were switching uh, a lot. They, they uh, when they subbed, they went switching five. And I thought we just, we really got, you know, uh, ISO heavy, which is kind of anathema to who we are offensively. And um, and I thought that on the same end, our defensive presence uh, wasn't very good at all. They did, they spread us out. You know, we had to, you know, uh, Robbie had to guard a guard. Um, and, and, you know, we just didn't do a good enough job defensively on Anderson and some of their guys. And we just, you know, lost them in transition, et cetera. And they stepped up and made shots. So, again, credit to them. They cut it to four. And then I thought we did a really good job to finish um, to close because th that wasn't easy. It's not, up to, not easy to be up 23, uh, lose that entire lead, cut it to four, and then have to make plays late. But Robbie, huge three, um, probably the, the shot of the game, in my opinion, uh, late there in the clock. And then Isaiah Swope, another huge three late, dagger three. Um, and some of the guys stepped up, you know, free throws, Jason Ken Steele late, et cetera. But um, good team win. We found a way across the finish line. Now we got to learn from it, get better, and try to be uh, hopefully play more to our identity for 40 minutes on Tuesday. Questions for the players, please. Raise your hand right back here in the back. Uh, Ryan, for you, Rick Simler from WTHI TV in Terre Haute. It, it's been a tough couple personal weeks for you following the passing of you know, and your family, playing your hometown. I saw a lot of family there for you. Is it extra special, a season high 27 today, to have this performance in front of all of them in your hometown? Question for Ryan. Uh, first and foremost, I want to say all glory to God, but uh, definitely, it's definitely um, a blessing. Um, you know, uh, I was looking forward to this game, you know, ever since the, uh, we put it on the schedule. But, um, you know, just being able to play, you know, in my home city, you know, in front of, you know, a lot of people that I know is definitely a, a blessing. And, you know, I'm glad we got the win. So, Questions for the players, please? Right. Go ahead. Yeah. If you want to. Robbie, for you, Coach talked about your three. They made that big run at you. Uh, Coach always talks about the ball in your hands late. How much, whether you're shooting the big bucket or, or passing, how much do you want that ball in your hand with, with the game on the line in tight situations? Question for Robbie. Uh, I think it just shows the, the trust that, you know, not only just Coach Schurz has in me, but the team as well uh, for me to be able to make those plays. Like you mentioned, whether it's scoring or uh, facilitating the ball, you know, we work on that throughout practice, you know, all the time. And so just me being able to trust my work that I put in, you know, to, to step up in those kind of moments, you know, something I take pride on. Right here in the front. Uh, Robbie, it looked like um, that, that second half and first half, really you guys made a concerted effort to uh, kind of really key in on uh, Bashid Jihad, I believe is how you pronounce it. You know, number 11 on another team, he, he had a lot, of, a lot of the ball came in, leading them in scoring 19 a game. Um, but looked like you guys did a good job, whether it was, you know, Swope defending him, uh, Julian Larry, there's a couple guys, but for sure Jason Kent had kind of the big, short of the big workload with doing that. What do you see from him, uh, you know, kind of guarding him on the perimeter, guard him in the post, and then ultimately, uh, you know, he gets that steal at, at the end of the game as well, uh, you know, uh, in the full court. And what do you just see from Jason defensively? Question for Robbie. Uh, I just see the the pride he takes on defense. You know, he's, he's you know, came in, you know, from last year. He's really taking a step up from, you know, defensively, you know, guarding, you know, other teams, better players. And, you know, I, I talk to him every day about it. You know, that's something that he can do. You know, he's not only going to be, you know, somebody that can, you know, cut and score on the offensive end, but he can also, you know, really, really guard on the defensive end. And, you know, that's something that he's been working on from the summer. And, you know, he's going to continue to get better at it. Right here in the front, Pat. Hey, Robbie. Pat Forty from Sports Illustrated. I'm just wondering, your, your game's fairly unique. What, how did it evolve where you had have the level of skill that you have to shoot, pass, and everything else? Uh, I think it just started from uh, the beginning. You know, when I first started playing basketball, my dad was always my coach. And we really focused on the, the fundamentals, you know, pass, shoot, dribble, you know, all that stuff. And so I just kind of, you know, continued to work on it, you know, being taller than everybody else. I never knew I was going to get to 6'10". But, you know, we always worked on, you know, if I stood at 6'3 or 6'4, you'd be a guard at the next level. And so, you know, we really worked on, you know, my, my ability to handle the ball, handle pressure, and, you know, being able to pass. And, you know, I just kind of just taken, you know, to the next level, you know, over time. Right here. 
Hey, John, Steve Streming, XL Sports. Uh, I thought you had really good balance all day long from a lot of players, but I thought Larry stepped up pretty good for you, and I thought Wolf gave you some good minutes. You want to talk about the balance of your team? Question for Coach. Yeah, I just think that's that's kind of been the way it's been all year, you know, is we have a lot of guys that can, <clears throat> you know, uh, they complement each other really well. Uh, the pieces fit, you know, any team's like a puzzle, you know, and um, it's not always the best players. It's, it's um, you know, the, the way the, the – pieces can kind of amplify each other and step up and you know I thought you know Ryan got some really good looks first half he was 0 for 5 but they were right on the rim I mean we're gonna we have great confidence in him he was you know scored a ton tonight 27 Isaiah's had some huge games uh, you know he wasn't shooting the ball great made a huge one late you know Robbie um, there's a lot of ways to go with it um, for us offensively which you know as a coach is is what you want you want to be live at, at all five spots and you know uh, um, you know everybody on the team uh, I thought even even bench guys Jake Wolf Xavier Blitz and um, everybody that played, you know, contributed and, and did something to help us, uh, you know, get across. But having uh, five guys out there at all times that can handle pass shoot uh, is, a, is a tremendous luxury and really, you know, why offensively, you know, we've been able to, to kind of be what we've been here at the beginning of the season. Right here in the front. Hey, uh, Ryan, that second half, you guys, you know, go into locker room up 11. That's your largest lead of the game at that point. And then uh, you guys come out real, kind of almost like a fire on you guys. You know, you get Swope gets that layup, you get that three. You hit a couple more threes as well. You guys push the lead to 23. Um, and, you know, I know that's a team effort, but ultimately kind of that, that game kind of closes out with Swope hitting that big three and, uh, you know, getting the rebound on the, on the ensuing uh, defensive board. What can you say about just having Swope kind of close it out for you guys and, and help you guys see this one through? That's fine. Uh, yeah, definitely, um, you know, to start off the, the second half, uh, we made emphasis on, you know, starting off, you know, quick and uh, trying to get the game over with. But, you know, throughout the game, uh, it was ups and downs. But, you know, um, Swope, he's, he's just a big-time player. You know, he's going to make those big-time shots. Robbie, big-time player, going to make those big-time shots. So, you know, uh, uh, we put all our trust in Coach, you know, know that he's going to put us in the right position. And, you know, we just got to go out there and, you know, execute. So. Back in the back, Pat or Mike? And Josh, ratings are just numbers, but when you look at the NCAA net ratings and you see Indiana State above Kansas and above Duke and above Kentucky, what's that mean to you at all? Do you get something out of that valuable? It just means I wish it was an 11-game season. <laughs> I wish it was wish it was over. No, um, no, it's it, it's great um, for us. Uh, you know, when you're you're at this this level, I think it it shows that uh, um, you can accomplish everything you want uh, at this level, right? You know, you don't have to, um, if you take care of your business, you got the right players, right people, right team, right level of talent, character that, that you know, there's really nothing outside of your reach, right? And, and um, you know, it doesn't mean it's going to stay that way all year. We obviously got to continue to win and we got to, you know, our league has to continue to play well here down the stretch in non-conference. We got a big opportunity uh, later this month with Michigan State on the road. Um, but uh, but we got to, you know, we, we went down to Alabama, lost, but Robbie didn't play, um, you know, when we went down there early in the year. So, um, but yeah, I, I think it's a, it's a, it's something we're certainly uh, – proud of but we also understand it's a long season you know and and uh um you know we, we've done some good things but all we've done at this point is win 10 games and 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 generate a really high net which is something we'll use in recruiting uh for sure but uh but as we know everybody remembers uh any story is how it ends so uh we got a lot of work to do between now and the end of the year right here yeah josh you mentioned having five drill pass shoot guys on the floor at any given time i'm curious how you built this roster, especially you know portal, so much changing, and, and how you build teams, how you were able to build a team with so much skill on the floor. Yeah, I think um, you know it, it's it's uh, tangibly what we look for, right? I think there's always you know you got your tangible things, you've got your intangible things, but certainly um, for us uh, at the top end of tangible things, we always look for in guys, portal, high school, um, whatever it would be guys that uh, guys that have feel and guys that can shoot. Um, you know, we, we love if, if they're explosive as well. Sometimes, you know, you don't get that, but uh, you can't, can't, uh, you got to compromise somewhere. Sorry, Rob. Uh, but, you know, but, uh, um, you know, but you, you, when you have that, and you, the, the key is not only is it the talent um, and the skill, I think it's the uh, mentality and, and how unselfish they are. Um, they understand how to play. They, these guys are incredibly intelligent. You odd, like Robbie's not just, um, you know, he's not just skilled, uh, but he's he's remarkably smart, both 
intellectually and his basketball IQ are both through the roof. So it's a really rare combination when you have somebody like that. And then you're surrounded with other people that are equally uh, talented and, and unselfish and they sacrifice. And what happens counterintuitively is, is that they start to all kind of put themselves in position where they can all flourish and they all are able to do this. So Jason Ken's doing what he does best, Robbie, Isaiah, Ryan, everybody's uh, able to, uh, to kind of feature what they do and able to stay within what they do best. And so we try to recruit to that. Um, that's what we did at the Division II level. It obviously didn't get this level of attention, um, but uh, very similar in terms of how we've wanted to play and how hopefully we'll continue to play at Indiana State moving forward. We've got time for two more, Pat. Uh, you kind of answered that at the end there, Josh. I was wondering if that's how you played at Lincoln Memorial mm -hmm. and why you kind of decided on this style of basketball that you wanted to coach. Yeah. Uh, yes, we did. Um, in 2015, we kind of changed over. And, and um, you know, we played much more like a traditional college team up till then. I went to uh, – quick story. I went to training camp with uh, the Celtics. I, my GA was Sean Van Zandt, who was a starter on the Butler teams, uh, got me access to go in. I went and watched Boston, was able to kind of embed and watch their training camp and um, just was amazed. I remember calling my wife after the first day and being like, she's like, how's it going? I'm like, terrible. And she's like, why is it going bad? I'm like, because I never knew how bad a coach I was until I was, I was here. I'm, I'm awful, you know? And, and, uh, and so we came back. We had been number one in the country the year before, and we threw everything out and, uh, you know, started, started kind of building this conceptual-based offense. And I think, um, you know, we tweak it every year to adjust. You know, last year was a little different than, you know, because we had different personnel. Um, this year, obviously, is different uh, with, with, you know, we able to do it more dynamic. But end of the day, I think it's, I think it's the best way to play. Uh, I think it's the way that, that the game is moving towards when you look at the pro level, um, using your five men as the hub of your offense and being able to play them, whether it's Bam Adebayo, Sabonis, Jokic, when you go down the list, I mean, even the Warriors, Looney, you know, Draymond, um, and then one through four really being interchangeable and those pieces fitting around a hub and then having that hub, uh, you know, be the facilitator. So I um, think it's where it's going. I think guys really enjoy playing with it. We give them a ton of freedom. And then we try to tell them, you know, we try to get them doing what they do best all the time. So, you know, staying within their strength zones, which obviously, you know, as most players, when you're doing what you do best and doing as often as possible allows you to, to, to play your best basketball and your most efficient basketball. And these guys obviously make it all work because they buy into what we're asking them to do. Last question right here. Yeah, uh, just Josh, what can you say about Ryan coming back to his hometown and putting up 27 points even, I'm sure, with some nerves in there? Yeah, yeah. No, uh, it's, it's special, man. Ryan is uh, uh, Ryan's an unbelievable kid who uh, has uh, uh, an amazing family um, here. His parents are, are, uh, are, are incredible. Um, he's, he had obviously a huge uh, uh, crew here to watch him uh, play. Um, and it, that family is, has gone through a really difficult time, um, you know, um, and, and uh, Ryan's just handled it with so much class and courage, um, and uh, the whole family has. And uh, to see him come out in his hometown on a big stage and perform, not surprised at all. He's, uh, Ryan's a, a fantastic uh, basketball player. Um, we have an incredible amount of faith, like we talked about at halftime. You know, he's 0 for 5, and, you know, we felt like all those were going in in second half. You know, a bunch did, and um, but but you know he was he was tremendous, and we're 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 lucky to have him. I, I didn't get him on the first go around, but uh, he blew me off. But you know, second time was a charm. So uh, kind of like my wife. So uh, we were able to, to to get it going, and and here it is. It's been a been an incredible marriage. Thanks, coach. Good luck. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you.